okay this is the motherboard hp elite book 840 okay when you own it it goes off on and off the on everything will on then the laptop will goes off again and you own it again okay if you have this kind of problem after you move the motherboard you have the first thing you have to do you have to check for if there's any water damage on the motherboard you check the motherboard everywhere okay you check and see if there's any water damage this kind of stuff okay if you check and see there's no water damage you check the motherboard is very clean okay you have to remove the heat zinc okay you have to work on the graphic chip sometimes when the graphic chip is found to damage it always do this kind of call and the laptop goes on and off on and off so if you don't want to change normally you're supposed to change the graphic chip and replace another one if you don't want this kind of problem anymore but if you don't want to change it you can still work on the graphic chip at least you can use it for six months seven months like that before you do the same thing again okay so you have to remove the heat zinc first you take out the heat zinc okay you remove all the screws here on the heat zinc okay take out the heat zinc okay and you put it one side okay you this is the this is the graphic chip and this one is the processor when you see this ic surrounding this uh, chip this is the graphic chip okay you make sure you clean the processor paste on top of the graphic chip because you are going to work on it you clean this one very nice okay after i clean it very nice okay you have to remove the you have to remove this this uh, glue close to the processor you remove them with the blower heat and machine you have to remove them first you use the blower just heat close to this side where the rubber is try to remove this rubber first make sure you remove them very nice use a pin and heat it and remove it okay Remove this one also. Okay, remove them very very nice. At least the oil you you are going to put oil on it so the oil will go inside very well. Make sure you remove them very nice. Remove this one also. I to remove all the four side. Don't put the blur for long, just put it up when it's hot, you remove the blur. Remove all, okay? After you remove all the, the glue under the processor, okay? You have to use the oil, okay? The soldering oil, you put small a bit here and here also. All the four corner. Okay, you put here to a bit. Okay. Put this other side also a bit okay then you use the blower on the blower okay you just hit the the oil side oil go in and go under the processor and make sure you bend the processor when you are hitting the oil so the oil will go down the legs properly like this okay so after you do that okay you have to hit the the on top of the processor you don't hit on top of the shiny thing, you just hit the surrounding this side. Okay, don't hit on top here so you don't damage the processor. Just hit this on top of this sound this surrounding thing, the sound inside here. A bit so the thing will become very hot. Okay. Just on top like this, right round. Okay. Don't hit it that much. You just watch and observe and see if there's the, like the the, uh, the processor already heats a bit you feel like the you, you really feel it you feel it yourself you know that this processor already heat you see the the oil will be like boiling on that and you see like a bit smoke sometimes a bit smoke then you just stop hitting it don't hit on top of the, the shining glass thing okay just hit it like this just you feel like the, the how do you call it is a bit 
like you see the oil will come out from the processor that means it's already hot so you take it out okay after you heat it very nice okay make sure you clean clean a bit the oil on top of the processor because you have to use the processor paste okay you clean clean it very nice like this okay what what is causing this kind of problem is because maybe when your laptop is uh, you are using it for more than a few days i mean let's say four five six months one year you never clean it the processor, the processor uh, how do you call it very dirty the heat zinc very dirty will cause this kind of problem maybe overheating like it's very very hot you never take it to repair we cause this kind of problem the processor some of the legs will like disconnect from the processor to the motherboard that's why this kind of problem always happens the laptop will go go on and off like that okay that's why when your laptop is dirty you have to clean it sometimes they take it to technician to clean it for you very nice okay so after you do it like that you just after you put the processor paste you just try to put the heat zinc back and make sure the heat zinc is very clean okay this one somebody already tried to put processor paste you put it so much you don't need to put so much like this just put a bit okay make sure the heat zinc is very clean okay then you, you fix back the heat zinc okay and fix all the screw back you take out from there just make sure you fix all the screw back very very nice okay after i finish everything i'll fix on the laptop and test the laptop for you to see okay okay now i fix everything okay i fix the keep the motherboard also on the laptop everything fixed perfectly like the charger okay then on the laptop the laptop is on okay it's working perfectly it's booting okay now it's boot finish you see everything is working perfectly it's okay now i'm sure it's not going off before cannot boot more than this before can on like this after a few seconds and off now i've already played with it more than uh, two minutes already everything is working very nice it's not going off again like before okay everything is good okay that means it's okay hello guys if you like my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.